Hi YouTubers, it's Sean from Zap Helper. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install Ubuntu 13.04 32-bit. Now, in the download link will be in the description below. Now, to start off, you're going to use VMware Player, which is free. So, let's get started. Go to Home and create a new virtual machine. Check I will install the operating system later. Click next. Now click the Linux under the guest operating system. Then select the version Ubuntu. Click next. Here you will rename the machine state. You shall rename it Ubuntu space 13.04. 32 bit click next click next click finish here click on edit virtual machine settings now the normal rate you shall enter is this 2 1 1 2 which should be 2.01 gigabyte. Now have two core processors. Then go to CD slash DVD. Use iOS ISO. And then go to your download where you downloaded your software. Now click open it up. And then go to options. Shared folder always enabled, and then you want to close that, close that, scroll up, close that, then select my music to add your music, then next, then finish. Now click OK. Now press play virtual machine. You should click inside the box. Now the operating system is loading. Now select your language. And then click install Ubuntu. Now this should go through the installation process. You want to install third party software. And then click continue. You may select the download updates while installing box. But it will take longer and you can do it later on. Now you want to make sure that the erase disk and install Ubuntu is selected. Don't worry, this will not erase your C drive. It will only erase the drive that you've created for this Ubuntu file. Now click encrypt new Ubuntu installation for security. Now click install now. Please choose the security key and enter it twice. That's once, that's twice. Now click install now. Now enter your location as so. You'll get some options and then select the one you're from. Now click continue. Now click Detect Keyboard Layout. Now press one of the keys, it shows. Go through all this process and then keep clicking No until you see one of your keys on your keyboard. As so. Then you click Yes. Then you click Continue. 
Now you want to enter your information. Now pick your username and now input your password. Make sure required my password to log on is selected and make sure the box is selected as well. Now click continue. Then after you have the operating system, no, you leave time for the operating system to install. Okay. And then once it is installed, you'll get this box in installation complete. And you need to restart the computer. So to do that, you just press enter. Okay, so you just press enter. Or restart now. And then after you've pressed that, it shall restart. Shut it down manually, and then of course it would shut down. And then you start it up again and put in your username and password, and that's it. And you're left to explore. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys there.